Hello guys, uh, my name is Patrick Dovala and uh, today we will, we will speak and talk about the ground fault protections and the types of uh, trip units which can provide these uh, different types of uh, ground fault protection. So, uh, do you see my desktop, the presentation? Uh, okay, so I hope yes. Tak, tak, ja. to, to, to je toto, čo tu vidíš, hej? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we will speak about the different types of uh, ground fault protection, main, main uh, three uh, types of uh, ground fault protections. Uh, then uh, are offer to this type of uh, ground fault protection. MCCBs, ACBs and uh, their trip units, which can provide this protection. And uh, the proper sensors, which you have to choose to provide this protection. Okay, so uh, I use uh, the sentence ground fault protection, but this is uh, mainly from the next standard, we can say. But uh, I use this sentence only because it's uh, easier to, to identify and uh, to speak about the principle of, of the, the protection types. Here you can see uh, the main role of the GFP to ensure protection against fire and also to ensure protection against direct indirect contact. You can say roughly two main uh, reasons for this protection. Uh, the, the main principle we can say is the vectorial sum of the working uh, conductors, three phase and the neutral if it's distributed and also the so the vectorial sum of this, this current uh, should be equal to zero. If no, this, uh, this uh, other current is uh, equal to, to ground fault or some residual current which can flow through some, some fault uh, place. Guys, if you, uh, have to, if, you, if you want to interrupt me or ask something during the presentation, do not hesitate or correct me or if you have some uh, experience don't hesitate to add and uh, interrupt. Here you can see the difference because we are speaking about the GFP and uh, I think uh, everybody knows the, the RCD mm, mainly. Yeah? So here is the difference in the sensitivity we can say uh, of the uh, protection or, or, or of the sensing measuring the, the fault current. So up to 30, 40 amps, we can speak about the uh, higher or low, low sensitivity according to the IS, IEC standard. And uh, above this standard uh, is uh, the next standard and we can go up to 1200 amps with ground fault protection. So you see there are quite high currents what we can uh, protect, what we can detect and uh, uh, provide protection against the risk of fire or uh, save our property or uh, the property of customers or so the devices. Here we can see the three main uh, types of uh, ground fault protection, how we can provide it. There are also some, uh, some mix or some modification of few of them, but this, uh, these are the main three types and also the main three types of uh, our protection uh, uh, devices or the, how our trip units can ensure this, this protection. So from the left we, we see the RS system, the residual sensing. Here we can say, see it's working on the principle of uh, vectorial sum and uh, we are measuring each we are measuring each uh, working phase and the neutral separately, but we are able to calculate the vectorial sum of uh, these uh, conductors and uh, count the, the ground fault or some uh, residual current uh, from this uh, sum. Yeah. So the, the second one is, is the SGR, so, so the source ground return protection. And here we are measuring directly the neutral, the earth link of the transformer. So all fault current, residual current coming back to the neutral of the transformer, we are catching and we are measuring. So we can provide the protection against this fault current here. Yeah. The third type also working on, you can see that uh, the second type is 
not really based on the vectorial sum. The third type is very well known by everybody. Everybody at our homes uh, have the, uh, this type of protection and this is the zero sequence. So it's uh, provided by the toroid transformer. So all working phase plus neutral, if it's distributed, it's included in the one toroid uh, current transformer and uh, we are sensing the, the fault current uh, thanks to this. So a uh, little bit more deeply, you can say, see here the, the principle, the connections. So how I said, we are measuring uh, the, the devices separately. These CTs on each phase and neutral are the same CT what are in, inside the device, so circuit breaker, for example, yeah, or the trip unit uh, for in a compact genetics case. The neutral current, uh, if you have triple device, you can have uh, externally mounted this, this CT. So no problem if you have triple device, you can uh, add the external CT on the neutral. Or uh, if you have uh, unrestricted earth fault protection, you have to uh, mount it uh, externally, but it's a different topic. So uh, with a uh, compact MSX, uh, we can provide this protection with uh, MicroLogic 6, how you know very well. Uh, here you can see the possible settings. It's uh, available in the catalog and you can see that uh, is it possible to, to set the ground fault current from uh, 0 0.2 of the nominal up to 1, 1, after up to nominal uh, current of the breaker. Also, you are able to set the time delay if uh, it's only some nuisance uh, ground fault. With uh, breakers like uh, MCCB uh, above 630B and for ACBs like Master Pack and TNV, we are providing this uh, RS residual sensing uh, ground fault protection um, by uh, MicroLogic 6. Yeah, so. Here we have options also for setting this protection, depend on the nominal of the breaker. Uh, here is the, you know, this, this diagram. So here you can see that these cities are directly connected to the MicroLogic. So in our case, our breaker, Schneider Electric, we are using this uh, Rogowski uh, current transformers for measuring the thermal short circuit and also we are able to sum the vectorial uh, sum of this current. Yes, yeah, so also you can see the, the fourth, the neutral is the option. Or you can, if you have triple, how I said, how I mentioned, you can uh, put here the, the neutral uh, current transformer. Okay. Uh, here you can see that the, the second type of uh, ground protection, ground fault protection is the SGR, yes? Yeah? So with uh, MicroLogic 6, we can provide this protection and uh, we are measuring directly the, the fault current coming back to the neutral of the transformer. For this, uh, this uh, type of protection, you need to use the, the external sensor, yeah? So it's the SGR sensor, you can find it in the catalog, for example, and also you need it, you need for uh, this Okay, guys. So let's continue. Thanks. <laughs> so you, for this, you need the MDGF module and the SGR sensor, the external sensor. Put it directly to the earthing conductor of the transformer. Yeah. Bless you. Uh, here some maths, so we can see that the, the residual current detected by the N, by the external sensor, is strictly the same that's detected by the, for example, if we put the toroid to the all working phase, yes, so we can use this protection or this will cause the same result of the, of the ground fault protection metering. The third type is the zero sequence or the earth leakage protection, well known, yes, so we are using the, the toroid uh, around all the working phases uh, plus neutral, if neutral is distributed, if no, 
it's no problem to use this protection also for uh, three phases. The earth leakage protection can be done uh, with our uh, uh, many of uh, devices also I, I just put it because to, to see all offer uh, uh, which can provide this earth leakage protection so we can use the final distribution devices like Acti9, Moti9, yeah, IED, RCCBID, all VG, VG uh, devices like C60C120 NG yeah. then we have uh, the complete offer of VGREX really so they can provide earth leakage protection and also I think one type of uh, Vigilex can provide also the SGR, the second type of, of uh, earth uh, of ground fault protection. Now coming back to, to our uh, uh, topic, uh, the MCCB, so Compagenesix plus VG module, well, well known by everybody. And also the, the ACB, so the air circuit breakers like uh, master pack compact with Micrologic 7. So the 7 is for earth leakage or zero sequence type of ground fault protection plus the toroid the sensor. Here the MCCB and the VG module, different type of uh, possible settings from 30 amps for the smaller body of the breaker and from 300 uh, milliamps uh, of for the uh, NSX 400 and 630 is installation. For the uh, bigger breaker with Micrologic 7 and Compact NS uh, from 630B and for Master Pack NT and NWV, yeah, possible settings also, the residual current settings and the time delay. Here is the different connection from the Micrologic 6. This part is the same because also Micrologic needs to measure the, the current for the protection of thermal protection and short circuit. But we need to add the, the toroid uh, around all uh, phases and at the neutral. Yeah? Here are some sum up of the possible and available sensors for uh, each type of protection. So the first two here the left one and the right on the first row you can see the first is for compact NSX and the second for uh, breakers like ACBs uh, this can provide the external neutral protection so if you have a triple breaker you can add this sensor and you have a neutral protection but only with NSX Micrologic 5.6 and with uh, ACBs Micrologic P and H and also then you will, uh, you will be able to provide the RS protection with Micrologic 6 thanks to this uh, CT. If you have a neutral not distributed, you don't need this uh, module, yeah? You don't need it. The second two uh, sensors are the VG and the toroid transformer. In, in VG module also there is a toroid. So this you need for uh, earth leakage protection or the zero sequence type of protection and you, you measuring the, the residual current uh, thanks to this. You need to choose the, the proper size according to the nominal rating. We have two types of this uh, bigger, bigger toroid. And the sixth sensor is the SGR sensor for uh, Micrologic 6 and the, the separately measuring of the neutral, of the earthing conductor of the, of the transformer. So, uh, roughly that's all about the type of protection and sensor and here we have some just some details to, to better understand. For example, we had a case uh, with Micrologic 5 from uh, our, one of our colleagues and the question was, if you check the Micrologic 5P which uh, not providing the earth fault protection or GFP protection, you can always see it's uh, display also the default, the, the earth fault current or the earth current, yeah, the IG. The question can be why and how if it's not provide the protection. So thanks to thanks to the, the counting of the vectorial sum, uh, you have this uh, value displayed. Yeah, You can set the alarm, but you cannot treat the device uh, according to this, uh, this fault with 5.0p micrologic. Uh, this can cause a problem if you have a neutral not distributed, you have not information about the 
about the ratio between IN and IG. Yes? So you count the vectorial sum of all current if neutral is distributed and you not measure it. You can have uh, not not proper value of the of the IG and uh, the value is still distributed so, uh, so it's still dis displayed so it can confuse uh, the customer or, or but uh, okay so the solution is put the external uh, current transformer for the neutral and measure correctly the, the nominal if it's distributed then you will have correct value also in this place <coughs> oh, again uh, one of uh, many questions uh, and cases uh, what what we receive uh, if it's possible to provide the, the earth fall or ground fall protection for three pole and also also for uh, four pole or three p plus n uh, networks so no problem if you have a three pole plus n so you provide it uh, standardly if you have three pole uh, network and N is not distributed, also no problem to provide the ground file protection, but if N is distributed, you need to put it into the, the counting or, or measuring uh, aperture for, for the ground file uh, protection, yes? Yeah? So, and uh, some well-known information, never put the PE or the PEN into the vectorial sum, so into the measuring uh, devices, okay?